Afternoon folks. I'm sitting here making videos, popping them up on my YouTube channel, um, mostly transferring old videos from the Homeschool Family Northern Ireland YouTube channel to this channel, the Homeschool Family UK. As you know we had login issues with the Homeschool Family Northern Ireland channel, that's why we had to leave it. But we're transferring all of those videos back over to the Homeschool Family UK channel. Because this is our current channel and we can access it and use it. We want all of our videos on it. But anyway, enough about that. A quick rant about this place. Ah, this is Screwfix. Screwfix. They are everywhere now. My rant, my problem with this place is this. I can go to any shop anywhere in the country, walk in with money, buy something and walk out again. But you go into this shop, you go up to the counter, the wee side counter where they have bigger catalogues sitting, little catalogue slips where you can put your catalogue number into for the item that you want to buy. You then go to the counter, the trade counter. Give the guy your little slip of paper with your catalogue number on it. Before he even tells you whether or not they have the thing in stock, he says, can I have your name please? Have you shopped here before? Have you got an account with us? So you're there and you're roped in and every time I'm there, I'm roped in and I don't think until I leave the shop. I've just give this guy my name and my details and my postcode in front of other people in the shop, in front of other customers. Now, as if that's not enough of a problem, that you have to be assessed and processed before you can purchase something from their, their shop. Nine times out of ten when I'm in their shop, I give all my details, give them a wee slip of paper for the thing I want to buy. Like yesterday I wanted to buy a Hoover, because our Hoover died. Um, Give them all the details, take a piece of paper, sorry it's not in stock. I says, right, okay, no bother. He says, but, but, but hold on, I can order it for you. I says, no, no, I need a Hoover and I. He says, but what about the other shop? You can run over to the other shop over in another area, I won't give you the name. Uh, I says, no, I'll go to Tesco or B&M. As I'm driving home, I'll get one en route on the way home because I need the Hoover and I. So after a, a bit of a kerfuffle with him, he tried to, to get me to buy, or sorry, order a Hoover. I managed to escape out of the shop. But the point I'm making is, I gave that guy my details. And I never even got a product. I can go into any shop in the country and just, with money. And if the thing's there, I'll pay for it and away you go again. But you go in there to buy something, you have to give all your details. And then when you're not even buying something, you've still to give all your details. What a load of nonsense. Be different now when you did go in, they always had what you're looking for, but they don't. They always don't have, well, not they always don't. A big percentage of the time they just don't have it, with the thing you're looking for. I'll be honest with you, now, I'm not affiliated with any companies, I've, I've nothing really, I've no connection to any companies, not making money from any reviews or anything I do for companies. But I've got one thing to say. You've heard me talking about Screwfix. There's another DIY place I go to in Newton Abbey now and again. And, sorry, I used to go to. But I told myself about a year ago, I'm not going there anymore. Every time I go into this place, I won't name it. It's not a big concern. Um, anytime I go in there, like, for example, if I go in for three items. I walk around the place, I find two items, and I can never find my second or my third item. So I have to put everything down. And then drive to b &Q. Every time I need something, I go to one place, another, and then I end up in b &Q, where I get what I'm looking for. I know it's more expensive in b in comparison to other places, other DIY places. But they have a full range of everything you're looking for. And for me, b and gets a thumbs up. And for me, Screwfax gets a thumbs down. 
I'll not go back near that place. And I'm not going back near the other place I'm talking about. But I will always go to b and I don't know if it's even twice the price in B&Q. But that's where I'm going. There's no hassle. You go in, get what you want, pay for it and walk out again. You don't need to sell your soul, send them any naked photographs of your wife or anything. Go in with your money, pick your goods, pay for your goods, walk out the front door and go home. End of rant.